abnormality in the first stage of labor so firstly this is the prolonged latent phase so here in case of the nulli para it is greater than 20 hours in case of the multi para it is greater than 14 hours now the treatment of the prolonged latent phase it includes the bed rest as well as the oxytocin or the cesarean delivery next we are looking at the protraction of dilation protraction of dilation so here in case of nulli para it is less than 1.2 cm per hour and in case of the multi para it is 1.5 cm per hour here the treatment is nothing but there is uh, the expectant management and support next looking at the protraction of descent in case of the protraction of uh, descent it uh, in case of nulli para it is less than 1 cm per hour and in case of multi para it is less than 2 cm per hour the treatment here would be the uh, cesarean delivery for the cpd next the secondary arrest of dilation this in case of nulli para is greater than 2 hours and in case of multi para it is also greater than 2 hours so the treatment will be basically to check the cpd and if no cpd you administer the oxytocin next looking at the arrest of descent arrest of descent so this in case of nulli para it is greater than 1 hour and in case of multi para also it is greater than 1 hour and if the CPD is present, you perform the CPD is present, you perform the cesarean delivery.